What's going on? Knuckle Hedge, GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today's the final node, the Gorwell node of the anniversary event. I, and I love, I love what they did. They give you an entire team and you can pick one unit. You pick one unit, right? So you have one unit you can use. And honestly, it's stupid to use anyone but Aurora. They should have just given you Aurora and said, hey, try this, right? I'm sure Pete, there will be plenty of people who want to try it without Aurora. Aurora is easily accessible. Everybody's probably got her. Everyone's probably got the ice glider. That's the way to go with this. They give you Redbeard. They give you Yuppie. They give you Jens. They give you Gorwell. They give you Garmadon. So the strategy is simple. Revive, 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 revive. Right? So... It's a it's a long journey. You guys are about to see 28 units go down in order. So obviously wave one, you're dealing with pirates. Get rid of Redbeard. Luckily there was no Scarlet. Scarlet might have made this a little more annoying to deal with. But after Redbeard, I try to get my attention to Hank. But you are going to have to deal with Valiant. So I probably should have went after Valiant over Hank there. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I did like to do that um, special one with Jens, the Solar Flare, on Lee, because then I give her passive block. So she's not getting her passive heal for a couple turns with those debuffs. And I know that those will run out. She's got no other debuffs on her. But she's really stacking it up. Garmadon is going to be your main guy for damage dealing, but you do have Jens who can hit pretty hard. Uh, you're about to see something hilarious with my first um, yuppie ultimate. Look at this yuppie ultimate on Hank. You just got erased. Like you just saw everybody just jump. Gorwell shooting, Aurora throwing a snowball from the distance. That would be a really cool clip to like slow-mo down for something at some point. Another key, so this wave is, as you can see, you're dealing with Imperials and Bard at this point. Probably uh, Governor's the next biggest threat. But the cool thing I really liked about this was they really set you up to be this, this long sustaining team that's just going to go through wave after wave after wave right on here. So the Gorwell ultimate is awesome. Like I save it for basically the end of every wave. And hey, here's a quick party refresh. And you'll see that when we get to the end of this wave. We Gorwell ultimate, we get everybody back to pretty close to full health. I think the only one who wasn't really benefited from it, from it too much at some points was Yuppie because he was like dying and coming back. But I mean, you see my, we're, we're through wave one and the team is looking pretty low, right? Like we're not the healthiest looking team. So it's a good time to pop a Gorwell ult. Get ready to go into the next node, right? We're not really dealing with too much here. I'm going to go after Lee until Nonsuch gets that payback off of him. Uh, they gave Guarded in too. So this, I guess because Guarded in is the best all around. Like if you had to use every single faction together, Guarded in is the most, you know, generic, I guess. It gives the best stuff with the payback. What, what this is going to do is it's taking you through really each faction each main faction one at a time starting with pirates but i felt like if they really wanted to make it challenging why was scarlet not in there you know what i mean like you made that more imperial heavy than buccaneer heavy if you just made that buck heavy that would have been a lot more challenging and i feel like a little more fun i felt like this node it was fun and it was cool and it's kind of like a reward right like your reward for getting past all those tag exclusive battles before this is we're going to give you the ultimate team and have some fun, right? You pick one figure and see if you can do this big challenge. Obviously, Aurora is going to be the go-to. Just to have that second revive between her and Yuppie doing the back and forth revives, your team, it, you know, you can get through this pretty easily with the double revive. I think. But another thing that I think Gameloft did, which was smart and I like, it's the advertisement. It's like, 
hey, why don't you come give Jens and Gorwo and Garmadon and uh, what's his face, Redbeard, who are all available. You can buy tiles for them in the shop right now. You could buy bundles with their tiles in them. Give them a test run. Hey, these guys work pretty well together. Oh, and Yuppie, you can farm him right in the event store, right? I would get some current, right? I would I would get a lot of energy and I would go, go. You, you're gonna clear this node. You, you better farm Gorwell a couple gem refreshes a day and use your event currency and you'll get Yuppie up. And then go buy the bundles, get some more Garmadon tiles, get some more red beard tiles, get some more Jens tiles. It's actually a good, this is a good uh, business strategy for Game Loft here. And it's honestly really nice of them to do this for the players is give us this node where, hey, we're gonna just give you the ultimate team no matter who you are, whether you have it or not. Try them out. Now, most players who get this far Probably veteran players who might have a lot of these figures, but they might not. Especially, especially someone like me. I don't have gens unlocked even. I just unlocked Gorwa when I finished this node. I don't have Yuppie, right? Most veteran players do. All of us are getting a little bit of a taste of what a stronger Garmadon would be. We only have access to five star. If you spent the money, now you could have him at six star. So, and everybody's had Redbeard for a long time, but we already know how good Redbeard is. So this is really, I think it does a good job of giving you a little bit of a taste of, hey, this is what you can get if you spend a little bit of money. If not, you know, it is what it is. I think Gorwell is going to, I mean, it was hinted to me in the content creator chat. They said they couldn't say, but then the, there, was, there was a winky face put in there that if Gorwell was gonna have availability outside of this, um, Gorwell's always going to be a chase type figure, right? It, here we go, Jen's ultimate on the Ninjagos. Gorwell's always going to be a chase type figure. So now we're at the Ninjago node. I started off with the Jen's ultimate, which just completely destroyed Kai. Strategy with Ninjago always is try to kill Kai as quickly as possible. Lloyd put everyone under stealth, but I'm not really concerned. And as you can see, like, you know, Yuppie died. You're, you're going to die in, in this, but that's okay. As long as you always have one reviver reviving the other, you'll be all right. And another key is you're gonna wanna keep Gorwell relatively healthy because you wanna be able to pop that heal whenever you need it. Um, so once Lloyd folded, you go after Wu because you don't really wanna get Wu ultimated. And now you gotta deal with Nia's and Jay. So I would go Zane first. Right, so after I took out Lloyd and Wu and Kai, Zane is my next target because I don't want to deal with the Digi J healing himself and stuff like that. And I think that J is almost as big a threat in terms of damage. I, I, I mean, J, Zane makes J hit more with his AoE anyway. The Nia AoEs don't help either though, because Nia is so so slept on this character. I think she's just she's not good in for your team. But she's really good when the computer has her in, in doubles, especially in these big waves. She's just annoying. She's an annoying, she's annoying with the other Ninjagos. I just stomped all over her and crushed her and Jay's hopes and dreams of being together. And that actually gives me an idea for when they eventually do bring Cole in the game. I'd love to see him have a passive that works with Nia. Because I love how uh, Jay and Nia have a passive that works to get like Nia's passive heals Jay, and Kai counters for Nia. So I'd like to see Cole get something like that too. Maybe like a bit of a rivalry thing going on there. Everybody's, everybody synergizes with Nia. I think if Cole had a synergy with her too, she would uh, maybe be more useful. Everybody hates on Nia, but I think that she's actually a pretty solid figure. Now, I didn't want to heal anybody up here. This is the... I've, this node to me is the break. It's like... Why, why save City for last? Like Ninjago should have been the last node if you really wanted it to be challenging. So I feel like they really wanted us to kind of walk through this node and and make it pretty easy and fun. Because like I said, this is, you're trying out these figures. Like they they gave you almost this entire team, right? So you throw Aurora on because that's really all you need. 
I didn't even try this with Scarlet. I heard people did it with Scarlet and got like silver. Um, for me, there's only three figures that would actually make sense to use in here. And that's Aurora, Scarlet, and Wu. And at that point, it's like, why not just use Aurora? So I think Aurora Glider is the best way to go. You could also go Scarlet Forbidden Island. You can go Wu Dojo. You can go Wu with the... You could even do Jay Cyber Dragon. I wouldn't do that if I'm not playing Jay. You could use Jay in the Cyber Dragon, honestly. That's not a bad move either. But I just feel like then you're war you're relying a little more on heals, right? Whereas with this, you just have the revives to fall back on. Love the Yuppie Ultimate. Your boss. Look at this. Blowing him up. Oh, Garbodon was dizzy. That stinks. Right, so, I mean, this is just... This part, actually, ironically, City took the longest amount of time to kill. So it is kind of like a reflection of each faction, right? Like a City just takes a while to kill because they have so much sustain. And Ninjago is going to do the most damage to you. And Castle is just going to be annoying with throwing taunts around. And Pirates, they're going to have a lot of counterattacks. I think that's what they were kind of going for. It's supposed to be a celebration of all the factions. But I feel like they, they could have made this a little harder, right? I feel like they definitely, especially starting us off with the pirates, there should have been a Scarlet in there. Honestly, there should have been an Argenta. A little more focus on the Buccaneers, a little less on the Imperials. But I guess they really just wanted to highlight all of the different factions. And honestly, I was kind of upset they didn't have a collectible wave right no hiker no nothing so i feel like collectibles just they don't get the love they deserve in this game you know they really they, they don't they don't have a set that really works for them they don't have any inner collectible synergies they're just meant to be like plug and play with other factions which is really i don't know it's kind of lame it'd be nice to have something that binds them together through a set Man, this last wave was just annoying. I actually lost Garmadon. So ironically, it was giving me some trouble. But I never felt I never felt threatened by this city team. It just seemed like, all right, people might die. I'm going to revive them. I'll pop my Gorwell ult when it comes. I'm gonna save it till I got my Yuppie back. You know, whenever it comes around, I have a big single target heal. Not a ton of healing besides Gorwell and Aurora though, so I think that was another big factor of why I really wanted to go with Aurora because Gorwell has that heal, but it's not the most often. It's a big heal, but it's not a consistent heal. Whereas Aurora, it comes around a little bit more often with the revives. And now we're just, now, this is where I got a little worried though. We're working with the two new reworked figures. They're really, really showing off Clay and Iggy here and showing you that we wasted time and resources reworking these figures who, check it out, they're still just as bad as they ever were. Spoiler alert, I kill them, I win the game. I didn't want to waste time popping off ultimates on these garbage figs. Bam. And now it's just down to minor clay, the Garma assist, and that's it. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, knuckleheads. Just remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.